Hi guys, it's April. Today I want to talk to you about the Mediator series by Meg Cabot slash Jenny Carroll. For those of you who don't know, Jenny Carroll is actually a pen name of Meg Cabot that she originally started writing the Mediator series with. I have so many thoughts and ideas and things about this series. I grew up reading the Mediator series from the beginning of high school all the way till now because of the new release of Remembrance. And so in all of that, there is a lot of feelings and things that I needed to get out. And so this video came to fruition. I will handle this review video the same as I do all of my other ones. The first part will be an unspoilery review, and then the second part will be a very spoiled, filled word dump of everything that is in my brain right now that I need to get out but don't want to spoil the series for people who may want to still pick it up. So there is that. Let me start at the beginning. The Mediator series is about a girl named Suzanne Simon who has the ability to see ghosts. Throughout the seven book series and one novella, Suzanne is dealing with ghosts, the personal problems they bring back from the dead, and trying to figure out how to help them move on. Shadowlands starts out the series when Susanna is moving to Northern California because her mother got remarried. In the process of moving out to California from New York, she gains three brothers and a roommate ghost. Yes. This roommate ghost is Jessie and one of my favorite characters in the series. She also finds out that she may not be the only one who can see ghosts when the principal at her new school, Father Dominic, actually sees ghosts as well. This book centers around Susan trying to solve the reason of why one of the former classmates at her new school just will not move on. Ninth Key continues on in Susanna's sophomore year when a ghost appears in her bedroom demanding that she let Red know. So she has to figure out who Red is, who this ghost is, and how to deliver this message. And things aren't always what they seem. Reunion continues on where Susanna meets a group of teenagers who died before their time and are not happy about it. Darkest Hour takes place in Susanna's summer where she is then put to task at babysitting at one of the very elite hotels that obviously has babysitting service where she finds a little boy who can see ghosts as well. She is then going through the process of teaching him how to be a mediator and at the same time learning a lot of Jessie's backstory who is the ghost who inhabits her house. Haunted is the start of Susanna's junior year where a figure from Susanna's summer decides to invade her school life and make her life miserable. And she learns there may be a little bit more to her being a mediator than she really first knew about. And it's about her learning what that could possibly be. <sighs> Twilight continues on in Susanna's junior year as she continues to learn what power she may have and how complicated it can make life. And finally, we have Remembrance that takes place after college for Susanna and the possibility of her wedding. It also centers around her figuring out the tragic backstory of a little girl ghost that has appeared to her at her new internship. That was just a brief overview of what each of the books are. There is also a novella that happens between Twilight and Remembrance that is called The Proposal in which you get to see how Susanna was proposed to. All of these stories always have a ghost element inside of them. It is not hard reading. It's actually written 
for a very easy read and a very quick read. Susanna has always been a character that I enjoy. She's always strong. She always knows what she wants and she's not afraid to kick some butt. However, I started having some issues with this series. The first couple of books, I... It always brings nostalgia when I read them. They're all about the ghost and figuring out the ghost. But over time in the series, it's hard for me because Susanna starts to get very boy crazy. And this starts to really push the plot and where it's going. And because of some of these plot issues, things like time travel and demons were introduced to the story and I... It, I it, it just made a mess of what the series could be and introduced so many different complexities that just were unnecessary for what the original story was and that just made me so sad when I started seeing this in the later books. Part of me feels like some of this came out of a desire for Cabot to make fan fiction of her own series to get two characters together that didn't have the possibility of being together. And in the process of doing that, there was a lot of holes introduced and characters shifted in ways that I, I found really hard to understand. I did like all of the ghost storylines and it's always interesting to me to see the psychology behind some of these guys' backstories and what could be keeping them and how Susanna handles all of that. So don't go into this series expecting anything epic or anything earth-shattering. It's a very entertaining read and later in the series it gets more to the romance and the boy craziness. So if you like that kind of thing, like love triangles and all of that, you'll enjoy it. I, that started to pull the joy out of it for me because I originally started reading it because of the ghost. Well, my. So overall, I gave 3.5 for the whole series. And I probably will keep on buying books even though they have started to disappoint me. I, I just, I can't, I can't let it go. I can't. I really can't. There's something comforting about going back to this series, no matter the flaws that I see in it, because there are flaws. And, and let's take a look at the myriad of cover designs that I picked up. Yeah. Yeah. But overall, if you're looking for something cute, you're looking for something ghosty, if you're looking for something that could be mushy and takes weird risks that make absolutely no sense, and then is a little bit of a younger read until the last book where things just get weird, Go for it. I am now going to say a few words that I don't know, just just need to get out. So if you don't want to be spoiled for the series, leave now. I heart your faces. If you did have read the series before and you want someone to talk to, or if you don't care that you're about to get spoiled for all of this, stay by all means stay. Like I said, I started having issues later in the series because for me in Haunted when we brought back Paul so we could have this ridiculous love triangle thing going on between Jesse and Susanna and Paul. Susanna's character to me felt like she started suffering because she started keeping secrets. She started just becoming all about the boy and all about the stuff and I wanted more about the ghost. Ah! And then as we continued on in Twilight and we introduced time travel, I nearly lost it. Time travel had no place in the series. I felt like she kept on adding abilities just so she could bring Jesse and Susanna together. I love the two, I really do, but I felt like Twilight was a piece of fan fiction and a cop out <laughs> in all honesty. And, but but I was extremely happy when we wrapped up the Paul storyline. Of course, all of that changed in remembrance and I nearly did not finish the book. It ticked me off. 
we introduced Paul back into the works. We had this really bad communication between Jesse and Susanna, and it... Ah! I said so many curse words. And then, of all things, we had to bring in a freaking Egyptian curse just to make things make sense. Ah! It just... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no. I yeah, why? <laughs> oh, it made me so freaking mad. Oh, to me, the story would have been perfectly fine if it was just about the little girl and figuring out what happened to the little girl and how it was related to the girl at the school and all of that. And then there was a wedding at the end. I don't even care if the wedding really tied into the story. I. <laughs> that was basically how I was left at the end of all of that. It, did, did anybody else feel that way? Like the last several books were just like cobbled together just for this whole Jesse Susanna purpose and all these new powers and all these new abilities were just all around that and they came out of nowhere? Is that just me? Maybe that's just me. That's good to know. I Like I said before, I'm probably going to continue on buying these books as they come out, if they continue to come out, just because I'm so invested no matter how ticked off they make me. <sighs> I don't even know what to think anymore. I don't. I'm going to let you guys go because at this point I'm just going to be making rude sounds and gestures and noises because it's just... Yeah, that. That. A heart your beautiful faces. Bye.